Hello everybody, welcome to Deer Creek the Farm Some Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are here today to have a little bit of a look at the new early riser planters that are coming from custom modding very, very soon. In fact, as of Wednesday this week, they were on the test list, so it's very possible by the time this video comes out that they may have been released if there has been no issues with them. So, there are three in the pack. We shall quickly go round and have a look at this. We have the 12 row here. We have the 16 row. And over here, the biggest of the three, the 24 row. Now, um, we'll jump into the shop and we'll have a look at the differences between them. But in principle, there are a few nuanced differences between them. But at the end of the day, they all do the same thing. And you can buy the one you need to based on the size of your farm. So let's jump straight in and have a look. You will find them in planters and we'll scroll along right to the end here. Let's start with the 12 row and we'll jump in and have a look at that. As you can see, um, very nice detailed model. You look at the pipe work on this and the, just a, the attention to detail. I mean, I think it's safe to say we all know the quality of the mods that you get from custom modding anyway, but this, uh, this really stands out as probably one of the most detailed mods I have seen from them, which is really nice. Now let's jump through the options here. Um, we start with wing options here, so stock, as you see there, uh, you then have weights that are added to the end uh, of the uh, rows, and again, ridge markers, should you want ridge markers there as well, and then back to stock options. Your hydraulic oil cooler will appear just behind the hitch here, um, and it's a nice addition there. Numbers as well appear on the back uh, on the stand there at the back uh, and you go up to 18 so if you're ever in a position where you need to run 18 of these on a farm you can number them individually bulk fill scales yes or no if you say yes you get a scale option here supplement buckets as well you have these sitting on the stand at the back uh, just again a nice little uh, attention to detail things there rear attacher uh, as you can see appears in between the rows at the back there should you want to connect another implement at the rear uh, and then your options for your hoppers and tanks uh, you start off with bulk fill you've got on row hoppers um, with a liquid fertilizer tank and also your bulk fill with liquid fertilizer tank there as well and back to bulk fill smart box let's turn that on and as you can see, it adds these uh, smart boxes behind each row. You can see the connector down there to the row. Uh, wheel setup, finally, uh, you've got your standard wheels, or you have got your very nice looking little tracks there. And again, while we're here, we'll just have a look at some of this detail, which is exemplary. It really is. The mapping on this and the, the reflections and everything looking really really on point it's fantastic really really nice so there you go that is your smallest one that's your 12 row so let's jump out now and check out the 16 row so there we go 16 row as you can see um you've got more rows attached to uh, each wing of the planter there um and again options here you have your weights on the end there and you have your ridge markers as you had on the 12 row hydraulic oil cooler the same as before as well numbers bulk fill scales supplement buckets rear attacher all as you were before now hoppers and tanks you've got slightly different options here so we've got our bulk fill as before we've got our on-row hoppers as before and our liquid fertilizer tank as before we have our bulk fill and liquid fertilizer tank there but we have this additional one here, which is the tank extension. So you can fit a little bit more liquid fertilizer into this one, should you so wish. And then that takes us back down to our bulk fill. And then here, we've got our smart box option as well. And again, finally, just the same as we had before, tracks or wheels, so very nice indeed. And finally, we have got the big boy, the 24 row, 60 foot wide planter, which is the biggest in the set. Now, again, as before, wing options, you have stock, you have weights, but what you don't have on this large one is ridge markers. Uh, you just have the weights as an option. 
So hydraulic oil cooler as before, numbers all as before, bulk fill scales, supplement buckets as before. Um, attacher type, uh, we have two options here now, a two-point hitch, or you can use a drawbar hitch. Um, hoppers and tanks, uh, we've got the options that we had before there. We've got a bulk fill, our on-row, our liquid fertilizer, bulk fill with liquid fertilizer tank, and back to bulk fill. So no supplemental tanks on the 24-row, which is interesting. Wheel setup, we have our tracks and our wheels as before. So there you go. That is the biggest of the set. Good horsepower ratings, actually. 250 horsepower to run this very large planter, though, is, uh, is excellent. Now, jumping out, we're going to have a look at these in a little bit more detail. We'll have a look at the animations and stuff as they fold as well. But again, I just wanted to get in here and let you see just the level of detail that is on these. The pipe work, the joints and connectors is absolutely glorious. They have done a phenomenal job. Now, these are coming to all platforms. So you will see as well here um, that the pipes don't look super smooth. That is the way they keep the poly count low enough for it to be accepted for console. But I don't think it detracts in any way at all from uh, how good these look. They are absolutely glorious. Let me just jump up, jump up here. And again, you can see just the effort and time that's gone into modeling. This is absolutely outstanding. And we'll duck into here and look at the pipework underneath the tanks here. It's just fantastic. We've got the smart boxes on this one as well. So you can see there the detail in those as well. But again, if I can get in here, just creep in here a little bit. Maybe turn the torch on as well. You can see what is going on. Uh, it's phenomenal. Just brilliant work. Um, really lovely to see how much effort and time has gone into these. I mean, these were fantastic mods in 19 anyway, but I think they're even better in 22. Glorious. So that is your 12 row, as you can see. Uh, four on the wings, four on the rear, uh, and four on the other side as well. Uh, here is the 16 row. I've added the extra tanks on the side, so you can see those as well. Um, we've got obviously now uh, six on each side, four in the middle at the rear we've got the tracks on here as well so you can see those in situ and again same modeling and uh, effort has gone into this which is fantastic um great to see you've got the weights on the end here instead of uh the ridge markers as well so a slightly different way of looking at things um and again this pipe work and effort tremendous now i am going to jump into this and i will just show you the animation as it folds uh, because it's very nicely done. Again, they've used the brilliant noises and sounds from FS22. Wheels are up and you are done. So there is nicely compact and folded. Now, the reason I showed you this one and I will fold up um, the 12 row as well, is because I want you to see what happens differently between these two and the, uh, the larger 24 row. So we'll just fold this in again. Fantastic animation. Lovely. So there you go. They fold the same each time. We'll just turn off this so we can hear ourselves. I want you to hear the noise of this as well. But this this is my favourite uh, animation of the three. So we'll come over here so we don't have the uh, tractor making the most noise and we will fold this. There you go, it rolls back. Locks into place as it did with the others but then you get this how good is that sound round the back here and all the way over to there and there you have it your three early riser planters from custom modding these are 
hands down some of the most detailed and impressive mods I've seen for FS22 so far. They come with that guarantee of quality that you always see from custom modding. And I have to say a big thank you to them for sending them to me just a little bit early so I am able to show them to you lot before they are released. But I guarantee you anybody that plays the game is going to have these downloaded pretty much as soon as they are out. They are outstanding. So once again, custom modding, tremendous work. And uh, it's great to see these beautiful mods come into the game. So for me, the Farm Sim Guy, it's as simple as that. I don't want to make the video any longer than it needs to be. That gives you a little bit of a spotlight on them. And we will uh, sit back and wait for these to arrive in the Mod Hub. So for me, for now, thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.